You ever want to sword fly in Halo 2, but then give up because the button combo is too hard to get down, or is too inconsistent? You ever just not try it on PC, because it's borderline impossible with a keyboard and mouse? Well today, I'm going to show you by far the easiest way to sword fly, and it's pretty simple to set up. So uh, let's get right into this. So first of all, you want to keep in mind that this is not doable on Xbox. This method will not work on an Xbox as you need a keyboard and mouse to do this as we are going to be using a method where we uh, record a sword flying macro. Now if you don't know what a macro is, it basically rebinds one of the keys on your keyboard, a button on your mouse, to a specific action like pressing shift plus tab to open the steam overlay, opening different overlays, doing different stuff, basically like keyboard shortcuts but with one single button. So in order to do this, you are going to need a macro recording software. If you have Corso products, you can use IQ like I'm going to be using, or you can use this thing called Macro Recorder, uh, which I will have linked in the description. And I'm sure there's some sort of Razer equivalent uh, also that lets you record macros for Razer products. But either way, the principles are the same, but I'm going to be using IQ uh, for today since that is the uh, software that I have currently installed on my PC since I have, well, mostly all Corsair products. So let's get right into it. Okay, so uh, here we are in IQ, and basically if you're in IQ, you just want to navigate to whatever device you want to put the macro on. So like say if you want to put it on your keyboard, put it on any button on your keyboard uh, that you don't normally use. But I like to do it on my mouse, I like to do my front mouse button. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to add an action or kind of find your uh, keyboard, your mouse, and whatever other macro recording software that you're using. And then uh, I'm just going to rename this to Swordfly. Okay, and then all we have to do to bind this to uh, the front of your mouse in IQ is just click the front mouse button. And then what you want to make sure uh, you have selected, and this goes for every single um, macro recording software, is you want to have delays off, then you want to have keyboard events on, mouse clicks on, and mouse scroll wheel on, but don't record mouse movement. Now what you want to do is you want to do the following combo. You want to do whatever your switch weapon is, so uh, click that. Uh, for me, it is scroll wheel down, so that is what my um, switch weapon is. Then you want to um, press whatever key your reload is. For me, it's R. And then you want to do uh, left mouse click for uh, swinging the sword, obviously, and then you can stop the recording. Now, uh, in IQ, it will record the uh, mouse that's used to stop the recording, so we're just going to undo that. And now what we want to do is click where it says add delay between all events. And now we're just going to set this to 20. But we are not done yet because we need to change all these individual delays to the delays of which I will tell you. So basically where it says pause execution for 20 milliseconds or whatever uh, your delay says um, in your macro editing software, you just want to go in here and change the uh, first one under scroll down vertically by negative one. You want to change that to 13 milliseconds. Click yes. Then after press key R, you want to change this to 17 milliseconds. Then after release key R, you want to change that to 9 milliseconds. And then this stays at 20 milliseconds. So now basically what we have created here is a sword flying macro. So now instead of doing uh, the repetitive button combo, which doesn't work at times, or uh, trying to do it on keyboard and mouse, all you have to do in order to sword fly is just hit one simple button on your keyboard or your mouse. So basically, now let's go into the game and I'll show you what you have to do there in order to get it to work consistently. Okay, so now what you have to do in order to get this to work every single time is you have to go to your settings, video, and make sure you lock your game to 60 FPS. Now you can do this with unlimited, but it is not consistent at all. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but if you want it to work every single time, you have to do it on 60 FPS. Now this is because the way sword flying works is that 
whenever you uh, change your weapon and then press reload, it'll kind of delay the animation a bit, so that way whenever you pick up the sword, your reticle remains red for a little bit, allowing you to basically fly over to your target because the sword is tricked into thinking that they're in range. And this time frame is uh, lengthened with a shorter uh, frame rate since that frame lasts longer. So uh, now what I recommend you do in order to test this out is go to your campaign obviously to anniversary and the mission that I recommend doing this on uh, because you can get a sword fairly quickly at the beginning of the level uh, just to make sure everything's toned in go to the level high charity just put it on easy and uh, you can turn all these skulls on if you want just get unlimited ammo stuff like that and uh, we'll go ahead and start it up all right, skip the cutscene. All we're gonna do is just uh, stay over here to the right, and then a flood uh, sword elite will uh, spawn in. Yep, there he is. We'll just kill him really quick. It's easy, and then just kill these guys really fast. And this is a really good area to do it because in a little bit, um, some flood carrier forms will stand perfectly still up there, and they are perfect targets for the sword flying trick. So we just wait a second, yep, there they are. Reload, kinda get rid of the rest of these flood really quick. Okay, so now that I've uh, defeated all the enemies here, all you gotta do is just look at your uh, enemy right here, make sure the reticle is red, and as you can see on my sword, it is not red. Then all you have to do is press your sword flying macro, and boom, as you can see, we have just successfully sword flew. And uh, this is a very easy way, like very easy area to test it because, you know, you obviously get the sword really quick. And these enemies, you know, won't fire back. They'll just kind of stand still, making them the perfect target. So let's just uh, try and go as far back as we can. Show you just how much range you can get, even on a simple carbine. And as you can see, we've kind of flown across the map. Now, uh, you can get more range if you have, uh, for say, a sniper rifle. You can fly really long distances, like if you're playing on Regret, you can fly across the ocean, and it's pretty insane. But uh, overall, it works really, really, really flawlessly. It works every single time that I've tried it on 60 FPS without any issues. Just make sure that you keep it on 60 FPS whenever you're sword flying, because um, obviously, it'll give you the uh, biggest advantage as you can see it's working flawlessly and I can do it really fast and efficiently so this is going to be really useful for speed runs or just you know having fun screwing around uh, with sword flying as it has some something that's you know really really fun to do and it's uh, really oh god I'm gonna fly off the map it's uh, really fun to pull off and it's not that hard now that um, MCC is on PC and you can basically record a sword flying button. So uh, yeah, that's basically it for uh, this tutorial. Very fast, very easy, very efficient. I hope you guys enjoy. This is really going to help you out on your uh, speed runs. And of course, you know, just having fun screwing around with it. I will say that it's so much fun to do. And now it's insanely easy as you can basically create a sword flying button on your mouse and keyboard. So uh, yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one.